playmaker. Denise Loden sets this up so beautifully. Rice knows exactly what's going to happen here. Referee doesn't even see what the deal is. Now, look at this hand extension. A little bit of cheating. And here's the spot that's nifty. She kicks our Stacy Skates right out and takes down three people all at one time. Boo. Now, yeah, a little boo, but look at this jump. Boo. Nice right there. She's got three points, and nobody was the wiser what our little girl did. A whole different side of Denise Loden. Now everyone is giving Sean Atkinson credit for the change in Denise Loden. Sean is with Broadway Danny Wolf. Danny. Sean, you are a man possessed out there. What was that move you just did to Bill Bark? It wasn't a skyscraper. It's like you came That's through the... like a full Ponty, baby. That's my new name, the full Ponty. Oh, yeah, it's not as high, but, baby, it gets there. Oh, yeah! And let me get to you, Rusty Montgomery. You've got to be pleased, finally, with the play of Sean Atkinson. He didn't go to Denise's side. He's being neutral. He's being your team captain. That's right. Uh, it's great to uh, be a team again and be back together. We're just happy to have him. Well, let me report, though, that Sean Atkinson did get a two-jam penalty at the end of the half. It'll be carried over in the women's period, and they also trail by six. Back to you, Hawk and Ken. With 28 points already on the board, it's still anybody's game, and we'll be back with the second half right after this. We are back as we start the third period. It is a Sundog 17, the Quakes 11. Again, you see Sidney Zimmerman in the very top of the track. Kathy Evangelo, Jamie Conamack, and Gina Lombardo as they come around. Lombardo using the inside to gain the early lead very quickly. And now it is Jamie Conamack coming out in the front. Again, Conamack and Lombardo battling out behind Evangelo and Cindy Zimmerman. But right now the two lead jammers, that is Jamie Conamack, number 38 in yellow, and number 38 in blue is Jamie Conamack. These two, some of the smaller gals in the WSL, but both play much larger than their size and weight. They both love to get physical and can mix it up with the best of them. Kathy Evangelo dispatching Cindy Zimmerman, now trying to close in, and Gina Lombardo does the exact same as Jamie Conamack. Now Brooks Sunderman dropping back to try and block out Conamack, uses a rail at the very top to slow her down. Here comes Evangelo, let's see what they got planned. A double whip and a butt block by Kathy Evangelo. A great move, the butt block eliminates Sunderman and the whip sends Lombardo around, but now Faith Urban returns the favor and takes them both down and smug. You see the Sun Dogs in this game. Both jammers saw the Quakes coming up both very quickly, cut it off, but not before they each picked up one point to increase the Sun Dog lead. Well, and Kathy Evangelo sent the Brook House of the California Quakes somewhere she's not used to going, and that's down at the hands of another team's blocker but you have to wonder where debbie rice is can we saw her go out nursing that sore wrist let's see if she comes back in place here well the second half there she is right there and very quickly debbie rice at the lead the wrist goes down and takes down amy craig and this gives delise Loden the opportunity to break out again it's denise Loden and stacy blitz and i would suggest florida might be well served as well as they have this lead to keep debbie rice on the bench allow her to rest prior to the upcoming Founders Cup Tournament. Now again, Loden, very, very physical. Stacy Blitz doing a good job of staying on her skates. It looks like right now both players attend more on scoring than dealing out punishment. Oh, oh Loden's out Blitz high, and a lift from the Sun Dogs sends Blitz into the rail, and Denise Loden puts three more points on the board. Stacy Blitz looks around as if to say, what happens? You see the big grin on Denise Loden's face. Well, and you see her celebrating a little bit, Ken. It's her Stacy Blitz go at it again. It seems like we can't start a jam any time here in the game without Sean Corbin having to get in at the end and break these two up, but Stacy Blitz Denise Loden, everybody seems to be playing physical here, Ken. You said they should probably keep Debbie Rice on the bench. You have to wonder how much of this punishment these guys can take and why they're continuing to do it this late in the season before the tournament. Stacy Blitz doubly upset about one big sin in the rail, but if we look back, the California Quakes had the perfect lift perform on the Florida Sun Dogs. The only problem was when Blitz went into the rail, Denise Loden put the points on the board for Florida. Now it's Heather Sunderman out for the California Quakes. And that's number 33, Lindsey Francis, for the Florida Sundogs. The California Quakes, they really need to get something going. Heather Sunderman with the elbow drops Lindsey Francis. 
and we had a point scored on every single jam, but it's been a while since any of those points have been scored by the California Quakes, and they've turned to Heather Sunderman. If memory serves me, this is Sunderman's first jam, and you see right now the referees very literally. Sunderman went by two of the Sundogs, but then her skate hit the infield. That's why the referees only awarded her two points. Right there, you see it. Very heads-up play by the officiate. Well, Ken, she gambled. She could have gone up and over, or she could have taken the inside track. She took the gamble of the inside track, but uh, Suzanne Shaleen fell into her way, caused her to go on the infield. Could have scored five points, only got two. And you could certainly see the frustration on Heather Sunderman as she wanted a whole lot more. But at any rate, she did get the Quakes back on the board. And now, if it works once, Heather Sunderman was not about to give up the jammer helmet. Now you see Jamie Conomac reaching back to give her the whip. This is Amy Craig out in front along with Suzanne Shaleen and Buddy Atkinson. It seemed the Quakes today just seem to be a little bit off their game as Suzanne Shaleen goes by. We're seeing little mistakes we usually don't see from California. Well, they're just playing mental mistakes, mistiming. They've screwed up on the uh, defense a number of times, and the offense is getting a little weak in spots. Well, right now they've got a good chance to pull that offense up as you've got Heather Sunderman and Amy Craig closing on the pack. You see Andrea Franklin and Kathy Evangelo try to set up a double block, and the Quakes do the same. That's a double bot squad bust put together by Stacey Blitz. Amy Craig goes high, Heather Sunderman goes low, and the result, two points for the California Quakes. Well, and I think the frustration comes from Amy Craig got the double bot squad bust. She gets whipped around, scores some points. I mean, I believe it gets, she called the jam off, Ken. I think people were frustrated. She, she thought she probably should, should have not called the jam off and kept going frustrated. She didn't get some more points. And she may well have been frustrated that Heather Sunderman, who I thought she felt was trailing her, drafting right behind her, was also going to put points on the board. But nonetheless, it is two for the Quakes. And now you see the Florida Sundogs. We talked about on the arresting Debbie Rice. Florida see California quietly creep back into this one. Turn to Debbie Rice throughout the season. Rice has been their go-to jammer. She had five points earlier, but then I think may have bruised that wrist from and decided to sit out. But right now, it's Debbie Rice closing very quickly on the pack of the California Quakes, trying to do a pull away to counteract the speed of Debbie Rice. But it's not working as Rice is closing in. Has already passed one. You see the speed of Debbie Rice as the period begins to wind down. The pull away not working is now finally a final whip from Denise Roden. And Debbie Rice is able to go through. Well, Ken trying to do a pull away from Debbie Rice is like bringing a knife to a gunfight. The Quakes should know better than that. At any rate, it's the Sun Dogs up by 11. We'll be back with the men right after this. It's the Florida Sun Dogs 26, the California Quakes 15. Welcome back, everyone.